Hi there, and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're going to rediscover some old, old series. So um, a few years ago I did the Brady Machine, and that's been quite popular, and uh, I've rediscovered the CAD. So if you do like this sort of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps other people find stuff, as does liking these videos. Uh, please, do, please do like them, and if you want to find out about any of the future videos, hit that notification bell and that will uh, let you know when I post more updates. As I mentioned, so I've been quite lucky in that I was rooting through some backups and uh, for those of you who've uh, seen my braiding machine um, video series, I've actually found the CAD, which is wonderful, uh, which means uh, I've been meaning to rework it in Fusion for a while now and uh, it means I've got all the source reference to be able to do that. So I thought I'd quickly walk you through what we've got in the CAD here. And then, um, so this is obviously in SketchUp and uh, looks like I did it back in 2016. Um, so I'll quickly walk you through this and then uh, hopefully over the next month or so, there'll be some more videos about recreating it in Fusion. Uh, some of the stuff I want to do is I want to Maybe so. If we look, obviously, these this is the frame, and it has loads of lightning holes in it, and it has this uh, these sort of spacing structure as well. And I want to rework that so that these should be laser cut. Possibly the base is laser cut too, and then have some maybe milled spaces. Not quite sure how it's all going to come together yet, but uh, I'm going to rework that. And then also the same for the gears. The gears, uh, I haven't used the braiding machine prototype very much. They were already showing some slop in terms of wear on the teeth and uh, it just doesn't quite run as cleanly as I'd like. Uh, so I want to be able to look at that. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of the CAD as it is in SketchUp. Um, like I say, it's not going to stay in SketchUp, it's going to move to Fusion and we can just uh, give you some idea. So this is uh, one of the prototype ones, one of my early videos on the braiding machine. So the bobbin just goes in a closed loop uh, with a couple of these gears sat underneath it. So if we have a quick look in here, uh, you can see these olives, as I've called them, these sit in the middle here of the track and uh, they basically form the inner side of the track. Um, these need to be well uh, in positioned if you like rotationally and that's done by these uh, square spigots on the bottom here and then uh, the bobbin so these are this is the bobbin carrier if you like and it has a spigot you can just see underneath there that engages with these horseshoes on the gears so if we just get rid of these uh, hide. Hide. You can see how that uh, engages with the gears and that runs in the track that we've just hidden. And then so these uh, these round shafts uh, form the centre shaft for a bearing. And then that bearing is uh, fitted inside the gear and it's held in with these little clips and screws. And then that keeps it all running centrally. And these uh, there are shoulders on the underneath the olives that hold the bearings and hence all the gears at the right height to properly engage with the spigot but leave clearance underneath the end of the spigot to allow it to travel freely above the gears. And then really the only other thing that's in here is uh, this outer drive gear that's driven uh, basically it's on a bearing in this model uh, there must be some later CAD somewhere that covers the um, outer drive arrangement that I fitted on some of the later videos but again, I'm going to revisit that because uh, I'm not overly happy with that chain drive and how that all works. But the idea is, is that uh, there's, uh, yeah, I can sort out the drive a bit better uh, now that I've learned from uh, creating it the first time around. So there you go. If we go back and turn on all of the stuff. So the whole point of redoing this infusion is to um, think about whether I want to do anything more with it. I've been asked many times about whether I want to sell the design or or what and uh, quite a few have sort of commented on perhaps I ought to kickstarter it or perhaps I ought to launch a Patreon page and develop it further with some support from the community 
Um, I also in the long term need to look at, definitely need some community support around how we do the, uh, if you like, G-code conversion, because I want to run this CNC and there's some relationships between the shape of the thing you're overbraiding and the uh, and the rate at which the bobbins travel around the track, uh, and that's important. So, but we'll see. So anyway, there you go. That's the uh, CAD for the bobbin uh, for the braiding machine. Hopefully, I'll be getting around to converting that to Fusion over the next well, coming months, I guess. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a quick tour this week. I've had loads of problems with my um, 3D printer again this year, this weekend, so I haven't really got time to do uh, any sort of in-depth videos, but I thought uh, the people that like the braiding machine would like to see that I have found the CAD. Woo! So I can get back in and use it for reference to uh, do some more detailed work in the future. So thanks for your time. Hope you like that and if you do please do like the video and uh, try subscribing to my channel if you want to follow up on this uh, also look at the other videos um, that i've got especially on the braiding machine they seem quite popular and um, just let people know that i'm here uh, thanks very much for your time and i'll uh, catch you again next time cheers